Hello and welcome back to Kids Coding Playground and today we will be doing another tutorial in Scratch. So today we'll be making a rock paper scissors game inside Scratch. So first I'm going to show you how the game works. So let's go full screen. So the player can select either the paper, rock, or scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. So say I select rock. Um, as you can see it said player wins because rock beats scissors. And see if I paper. I win again, the computer picked rock. And I get scissors, I win again because the computer uh, played si a paper. So it's like a simple rock, paper, scissors. Yeah, and if they both pick the same thing, it's a tie. And the computer wins because they picked paper and I picked rock. So yeah, it's just a simple rock, paper, scissors game. It's like the one where I made a Python tutorial on rock, paper, scissors. It's like the same thing. So, alright, so let's get started by creating a new account. So, a um, new, new project. So, this new project, we're going to name it Rock, Paper, Scissors Game. That's good. Okay, let's delete the Scratch Cat. Let's import some sprites. First, I have the... Let me put this in first. So this is the player, and this is the um, enemy uh, computer. So inside, I have three costumes. The Rock costume, Paper costume, and Scissors. Same with the computer. I have the Rock costume, Paper costume, and the Scissors costume. So we will put these into Google Drive so you guys can download them. I just got these images from online, so yeah, and then we also have the um, button where you click the rock, the paper button, and the scissors button, and also we have the result button, yeah, so this is just like the computer wins or the player wins thing, and then finally we have a backdrop to put in here, like that, so the backdrop kind of looks like this. We actually got this backdrop from like some other old Scratch project. I don't know what it's called, but like I got this from somewhere. All right, so inside the player, we are gonna start coding. Actually, no, let's start coding in the backdrop. So inside the backdrop, we're gonna code like all the results and all that stuff. So first, we're gonna start off by making a new custom block. We're gonna name the cu custom block called Check Result. So we're gonna make a custom block called check result. All right. After we have created the custom block check results, we will get back to that later. First, we will have to go to the buttons. So in the button, we are going to uh, make a variable in the um, uh, rock. We're gonna make a variable called choice one, which is the choice for the player. And inside the rock, I'm just gonna make it go to whatever this position is. So in a green flag flag, let's go to the whatever negative one seventy five y eighty, and we're gonna show. And when we click on this sprite, we're going to set this choice one to rock. So the player click uh, picks rock, and we're gonna broadcast a message, and we're gonna name it start game. Start game. Start game. All right. Now let's go to the paper button. Inside the paper button, we're also going to make it go to whatever this position is. One green block clicked. Go to negative 109, 80. And we're going to show. When this sprite is clicked, we're going to set the choice one variable to paper. And then we're going to broadcast start after start game after you. Uh, click this. All right, so and then finally we have the scissors, which is also the same thing the button scissors We're going to get it one green flag clicks go to whatever this position is negative 45 y 80 and we're going to show and When our, when the sprite is clicked We're going to set the variable choice one to scissors Scissors and we're going to broadcast the message start start game. So basically these sprites are basically the small mini version of these and we just drew a black uh, box that covers it. All right now let's go to the backdrop. So inside the backdrop we are going to when I receive the start game bro uh, broadcast message we are going to broadcast we have to broadcast and wait actually so then we can wait for the action to finish. So we're going to broadcast new game new game and we're going to uh broadcast and wait 
show result. Show result. This is, is it, these uh, broadcasts are for later, but I will just uh, put them right now. And after that, after showing the result, we want to broadcast game over. So obviously, it does not do anything yet because we have not broadcasted the message. So now we're going to work on the custom block. So we're going to define whatever this custom block means. So now we are going to um, make the custom block define the check result. So before we begin coding, we're going to make a few variables. So we're going to do choice two, and choice two is the computer, um, like the and your opponent, the computer. We're also going to make another variable called winners, so you know who's going to win. All right, and then we're going to get if else statement first. So in this define, we're going to get if the choice one is equal to choice two, meaning the if the player is equal to the uh, computer. So if they're both equal, then that means it would be a tie, right? So then we're going to set the variable winner to tie. And then um, next, we're going to get another if else statement. So if else inside here. So if choice one is equal to rock, so the, let's say the player chooses rock. So the player doesn't change. You have to remember that. So the player chooses rock. And then we're going to get another if else statement and put it right here. And if the um, computer chooses paper, which is choice two, paper, then we're going to set the winner to computer because paper beats rock. So we're going to set choice two. I mean, winner, wrong variable. So winner, we're going to set winner to computer. And next we will get, and just duplicate this, we're going to set else, we're going to set it to player. So the player will win because the computer will pick scissors, and the player is rock, All right? And then we're just gonna duplicate this right here. Put so this in the else. Um, just take this out. So if choice one, we're gonna need an if else, another if else in here. So we can just remove that for now. So if the choice one player is equal to paper, get another if else. And if the choice two, let me just duplicate this, choice two is equal to, oops, choice two is equal to uh, scissors, well, scissors beats paper, and player chooses paper, and the computer chooses scissors, so we're going to set the winner to computer. Set the winner to computer. Else, right here, we're going to set the winner to player player because the player will win because the computer picks rock and the player has chosen paper all right and then one last if else condition right here inside here we're going to get an if else statement so right here we're going to get if else if this thing is equal to rock choice two is equal to rock rock so if the computer chooses rock then we will set the winner to computer. Uh, because the player would have chosen scissors. And we don't need to check like this if else condition on top because the player will pick scissors. And then else we're going to set the winner to the player because the computer would have picked uh, paper and the player would have chosen scissors. So right, this thing is basically the same thing as this thing, but this isn't necessary. So you can also do this if you want. That is basically the same thing, but it's in, is it, we don't need to check the condition because the player will have picked scissors. All right, and after we are done defining this thing, the check results, we are going to go to my blocks and put this right there. All right, all right. Now let's go to the computer. We're gonna start coding on the computer first. So right here we broadcast a new game, right? So inside the computer, we're going to receive a message. When I receive new game, actually new game, I'll zoom in. Then we're going to repeat five times. Next costume, 
So when a new game starts, like when the player chooses something, we're going to like make it change costumes a little bit, so it'll look a little bit cooler, I guess. I guess I don't know. And we're going to set. We're gonna make a list actually. So this we're gonna make a list called computer choice. So this is like a list for whatever the computer chooses. So we, first we're gonna set the variable uh, choice to, um, and we have to one green five clicks. First we have to uh, code the list and then we can work on this one. So first we're gonna have to delete everything of the list, delete all of computer choice. And we're gonna add three things. We're gonna add rock, paper, and scissors. So we're gonna add these three things to the list. Scissor, scissor. Oh, I spelled it wrong. Scissors. Okay. And then we're going to get the item thing. Item one of computer choice. We're going to uh, set the choice to pick random one to three item of the computer choice. Like that. Now we're going to if else statement. If, if uh, the choice two is equal to rock. So I'll say the computer picks rock. If choice two is equal to rock, then we will switch the costume to rock, which is obviously the rock costume. And then we can just duplicate this if else statement. Do not comment. Oops. Duplicate. Uh, put that in here in the else. And if choice two is equal to paper in the else. Then we're gonna switch costume to paper, else we're gonna switch it to scissors. Like that. So yeah. So this is just switching the costume. Okay, now let's go to the player. The player sprite. We're gonna when I receive new game. Game. Let's zoom in a little. When I receive new game, we are going to we can honestly just like drag and drop this into here, just change a few things up. Obviously, we are taking this out. We can keep all this. Instead, we're going to do choice one and choice one right here. We have new rock, paper, and scissors. So yeah, obviously it will switch to the corresponding uh, costumes. Like that. Alright, the player was pretty simple. Now let's go back to the buttons. We'll have to code a little bit more in here. So it's just really simple. When I receive new game, we're going to hide. Hide, and when I receive game over, we're also going to hide. Just drag and drop this for each one, like that. Alright, we're not quite done yet, because we have to also do the result code. That one's pretty simple, honestly. Um, let's go to the results, this thing. So, inside the result, we will be, uh, when green flag clicks, first we have to, like, set the position, I don't know what, whatever this position is. I'm gonna hide, and when I receive new game, new game, and we are going to hide, and when I receive game over, just duplicate this, let's receive game over, we're also gonna hide, and then when I receive show result, we are going to show, so basically in the backdrop, um, we broadcast show results, so like once the player and computer are done, then it will show the results of who wins. So right here we have two costumes, I mean three costumes, right? we have player wins, computer wins, and a tie. And three costumes. We're going to show it, and we're going to do if else, if the winner is equal to the tie, so if they both tie, winner is equal to tie. Then we are going to switch costume to the tie costume. Duplicate this. If the winner is um, player, switch costume to player wins. Else is going to switch the costume to computer wins. All right. And then right here, we're just going to make it look better by changing some graphic effects. So we're going to uh, repeat two times, uh, and then we're going to set the color effects. To 50. Just make it turn purple. That means make it pur turn purple. I'm gonna wait 0.25 seconds. 
and clear about graphic effects. And now we're going to wait another 0.25 seconds. So, boom, like that. All right, so now let's save the project. Let's run the game. So let's go full screen. So you can see I lost because I had rock and the computer had the uh, paper. And one thing we could do is, let's go back to the button. So inside the button, right here, this actually is supposed to be show, sorry about that. So then it can continuously play. You don't have to stop the, you don't have to keep on clicking the green flag to restart. So you have to actually, you can actually put show if you'd like. Right here, if you don't want the game to stop, so you can put show like that. All right. The results, pretty sure you also put show. No, you don't, you, I don't think you do. So let's save it again. Let's try it again. So. All right, paper, as you can see, I won. As you can see, you don't have to keep on clicking the green flag to get these things to come back again, so it's pretty good. I win again. Tie. Uh, computer wins, so yeah. It's pretty cool. Pretty simple rock, paper, scissors game on Scratch. Um, well, thank you guys for watching, and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And if you would like to check out our Rock, Paper, Scissors game in Python, you're more than welcome to check it out. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys for watching.